What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here and welcome to Five Nights at Smudgers 2 Remastered. Where this is the second game in the Five Nights at Smudgers Remastered series. And this is a remastered version of Five Nights at Smudgers 2 made by Big Trevi, which Big Trevi is the creator of the Five Nights at Smudgers series, as well as the upcoming game Smudgers 1 Brother. And this game is created by um, the Fire 2, the creator of the Five Nights at Smudgers Remastered series. And um, it's got a really nice menu right there. And as you can tell, um, this is the Duncan Gets Spook theme, which is the same theme used in Final Fantasy Smudgers 2. And then in Final Fantasy Smudgers Remastered 1, it used the same theme from the first game, which is um, Smudgers theme from the episode Grandpa. But yeah. Anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game and let's see what's offer for us. That says Bertram Station up there. Yes, start a new game. Bertram Station entrance, nice. Oh, we get a news article. Bertram Station, Bertram Mass Station, a brand new train station has been opened for a fast way to get into town, including old fashioned steam trains and brand new diesels. Also includes a fancy, brandy new. Okay, that's actually a typo. It's supposed to say new and not news. New restaurant. Okay, also. I just noticed a couple typos there. That's not how you spell restaurant. That's another typo. Come down anytime for a bite, for a bite to eat, and take a look at the engines. This station will also will also require a security guard to keep an eye on the surveillance cameras nightly to ensure the building's safety. Four hundred fifty pounds per week. Call one eight eight one eight 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 Bertram Station if you're interested. And there's a picture of Bertram. Soda Republic Press since 1912, August 19th, 2015, which 2015 was when Final Fantasy Smudgers 1, 2, and 3 were released. Just thought I'd give you a fun fact. Final Fantasy Smudgers 4, Five Nights of Smudgers 4 was released in 2019. Just thought I'd give you a fun fact of when the original games were released. So yeah, on to night one. Let's see what that's offer for us. And because this is a remastered game, um, the mechanics, I imagine, will be a lot similar to the second game. Oh, we got a phone call. It's based to toggle the system remote. Click and hold on the hallway. Oh, we get to haunt the nose. Nice. Okay. Okay, the cameras look very similar. And it's got the same characters. Okay, so this is the remote right here. Diesel lock alarm. Okay. Okay, so just like with the second game for night one, Proteus and Bertram are active, and if we see them come in the office, we have to spray them with the diesel spray used on this um, remote control right here. Okay, so Proteus is moving. I'm going to check the cameras for Proteus. Oh, 
Okay, why is the music... Okay, why is there music playing on the restaurant camera? That's... That does... That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Proteus is moving. Bertram hasn't moved yet. And of course, mechanics are the same as the second game, and pretty much for the most part, it's it's a lot similar to the to the original. Bertram hasn't moved yet. Oh, Proteus is coming. Oh, Proteus. I know what that sound cue means. Okay, so... Proteus or Bertram coming, then we have a sound cue. Which is very intimidating. Alright, so I gotta wait for them to come in the office so I can spray them with a diesel spray. One thing that's different about this game than the second game is that we have a flashlight we can use to check a hallway. Because in the second game, we didn't have a hall a flashlight to check. Instead, we just used the um, WASD button or the arrow keys to check the hallways. We just checked the hallways instead of using a light. Okay, so when's Proteus going to come in? Oh, Proteus. Okay, so the diesel spray automatically ref refills, which is a good thing, because in the, in the second Final Fantasy Smarters game, we had to, like, press the refill button. But on this one, because it's a remote control, it automatically refills. Okay, so only Proteus is moving for night one. I think Bertram's going to move on night two. But Bertram has the same mechanic as Proteus, where we have to use the diesel spray if they come in the office. Alright, and we've beaten night one. Like that grandfather clock for the theme. This game definitely brings back memories from Final Fantasy Smuggers 2, because it's a lot similar to it. Definitely brings back the memories. Okay, so what do we have next? Do we get a minigame? I imagine we get a minigame, like... Oh yes, we get a minigame. Okay, perfect. Because just like with Final Fantasy Smuggers 2, we get a minigame. Oh, we get to go into rooms? Okay, so we're playing a smudger, and we have to press E to open the doors. Okay, there's Proteus and Bertram. Press space. Okay, so we had to press space in front of Derek in class 40. What does that do? I wonder what the space button does. Interesting. Okay. Since I got time, we will take on night two as well in this video. So without further ado. Let's get on to night two and let's see what that's on for us. Okay.
Okay, so for night two, we're going to be dealing with Bertram, Derek, and Class 40. And for Derek and Class 40, if they appear on Can 15, then we have to use the alarm to get rid of them. Since they are diesels and they are clever. Oh, we can shine the light on that hallway too? I didn't know that. Okay, so Bertram comes from the left hallway. Proteus will come from the middle hallway. And then Derek in class 40 will come from the right hallway. Up, oh, both Proteus and Bertram are here. Okay. Bertram. Okay, Proteus is still here. Bertram left. And I gotta check for Derek in class 40. Oh, Proteus. There we go. Okay. And now to check for Derek in class 40. Okay, they have not shown up at the camp on Cam 15, which is the East Hallway, which is on the right side of my office. Oh. I hear class 40's horn and Derek. Okay. So apparently I can only use the hallway light in the left and the middle hallway. I can't use the one in the right hallway. Okay, Proteus is here. Oh. Diesel spray. There you go. Check for Derek class 40. They are not here, so. Oh, Bertram's in the hallway. I'm actually glad they changed the sound for Proteus and Bertram's entrance in the hallway, because in Find Out the Smarters 2, the sound was bone chilling. Oh, Bertram. Hang on, I gotta check for Derek in class 40. Nope, they're not in the hallway. I'm checking the camera, though. They're getting close, though. The sound for Proteus and Bertram's entrance in Final Smudgers 2 is very bone chilling. Like, it literally made, like, a, an eerie railway sound. Derek. Oh, the alarm has lights on it? Okay. Oh, wait. The alarm lights turn on on the right hallway every time I activate the alarm. Okay. That's interesting. Find out the Smarters 2, there were no alarm that lights that turn on right near the right hallway. Okay, both Proteus and Bertram came. So I had to use the diesel spray on both of them. Oh, Derek. Alarm. It's really interesting how the alarm lights activate when Proteus when when you turn on the alarm for Derek in class 40. And we beat night two. All right. It's interesting because in Final Smutters 2, there were no alarm lights every time I turned on the alarm. And also, the alarm sound was different. It just made like a beeping sound instead of like a traditional alarm sound. Oh, we got another minigame. Okay, so who are we going to next? Let's see. 
Hello, Proteus and Bertram. Okay, so we're going to the Horde Loris, and we have to press space for the Horde Loris. Okay. Alright, so we will take on night three and the nights three and four in the next video. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications about coming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.